welcome back to school of civil engineering this is Ayatollah with another new video as we started a steel structure warehouse design and uh, almost we are in ending so already have completed three lecture and um, if you are already connected with us then you know that uh, we have draw that structure and we have um, defined everything what required for our structure here right so we had a um, that I mean that is our uh, structure so uh, now we have to do another thing that actually finally we have to design uh, I mean we have to define load on our uh, structure okay so in this lecture we are just going to define our dead load live load and uh, wind load and also earthquake load so uh, uh, we have to define our wind load in different way okay so uh, in this lecture we are just going to do that in that lecture so uh, if you new to our channel and uh, if you do not didn't subscribe to our channel then please subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first so first of all I'll just go ahead and define then from here the load pattern okay so here already defined dead load and live load and after that I'll just define here super dead load and from here I'll select super dead load then add after that from here okay from actually uh no need to define the super dead load okay also we can define uh, the dead load as an external dead load because uh, it will consider uh, the external dead load with the self weight of the structure right so um, it's okay actually so we can delete that after that we'll define w sorry earthquake x then from here the seismic load okay and from here you have to define you have to select the code as per which code you want to design so i'm just selecting here a s c e okay so for wind load i'm just going to define as a s c e american society of civil engineers I'm American Society for Civil Engineers. Okay, and there are many code as per your requirement. You can select that. Okay, so here is one of the codes, and uh, also we can defend there another code. So I'm just going to defend that one 710. Otherwise, there have uh, 75. Okay, so let's take 75. And actually, there are no major difference between 75 and 710. So okay, 710. Then EX. Okay, add then uh, EY then add then uh, wind wx wind x then from here to select wind then from here code similarly this is the same code add and uh, wind y sorry wind y similarly uh, okay it's same so we have uh, define our wall load now we have to modify that so ex for ex we'll just go ahead define lateral load so i'll just click here define lateral load for ex i'll just consider the load for x direction only okay so if you think that uh x direction plus eccentricity actually uh if you think that you will consider eccentricity then it's up to you you can take it okay you can take it that one and that one okay so i'm not going to defend that so this is only bx so uh, it's here and from here every data you have to take as per design okay uh, actually i have created almost five video about earthquake analysis by using etaps with the help of excel so i'll just request you as per aci and asce so i'll just request you uh, from the given link uh, i mean already have provided that link in description actually i do not want to discuss that same thing again here and uh, it will waste my time actually and also your time that's why i'll just request you please uh, watch that video if you need and uh, otherwise it's okay so from here uh, actually you have to define what you need from here and the base to top uh, from here okay so i'll just click okay and for that on x y modify and every lot i'll just move that and here it's okay then i'll click okay okay 
so we have uh, defined our ex and ui now uh, wx wi then uh, now the question is the question is our structure are not a plane structure they have a angle right they have a angle with that structure and uh, in that types of a structure in all that side are free okay that all sides are free so for that we have to provide the load auto uh, manually okay window manually so i just give wx the modify lateral load so from here i'll just select that option right from here that option then exp exposure from frame and shell object okay exposure from frame and shell object so here um, it's okay and uh, from here just you have to change that value as per requirement so for still a structure it's based to a stop a story so you know that because our base will be above in um, soil so it's okay then I'll click okay sorry box to include the weather for the load is okay sorry sorry here we have to select include the shell object so we'll uh, defend that from shell object then okay then I'll click Y okay so when Y for Y direction I'll just defend here modify modify and here I'll select that one and here all are okay I'm not going to change anything if you need to change it the wind speed then exposure type uh, VCD and as per my country it's AVC then um, topographical factor KZT and all data are available in our code so you have to follow the code and you have to input the data here then okay then okay so when it's okay when uh, it's okay now we have to define that okay now we have to define that so to define wind load I'll just close that to define wind load suppose when WX then uh, our uh, sorry uh, they have no requirement of WY actually wind load for Y in that direction cause uh, it will not consider any load in Y direction cause uh, as it is free right as it is free that's why it will not consider um, any load here actually so I'll go ahead define and if you think that uh, your structure will protect the load coming from I mean the resist the load coming from X direction in that direction then you can take it okay so because I'm um, here you can uh, give your the wall wall like brick wall or something and uh, actually this night as uh, height are not more okay that's why uh, it will not carry many wind loads and uh, your wall will be able to protect that wind load I hope so right so um, and here you go define then from here I'll just go load pattern and from here I'll delete wind load delete load yes then win a y only x will be available here so when it's here now from here I'll just come here okay assign then shell load okay and wind pressure coefficient so here I'll click here and from here I'll select wind load wind load pattern and here coefficient okay wind load coefficient so we can see give her CP uh, we can give her CP 0 0.8 you know that 0 0.8 as per code 0 0.8 for windward and uh, 0 0.5 for leeward so for windward side we'll just give her 0 0.8 right so here I have to select that manually one by one okay so, uh, I'm not sure what I have selected so I'll just skip and I'll move that little bit so that I can so that it's it will be vid visible to me okay now it's visible to me so simply I'll just select that all uh, row manually 
maybe it's okay so here So here, actually this is, uh, I'm just considering uh, when the wind will come in that direction, okay, uh, uh, I mean uh, according to x direction, positive x direction, then it will be the windward direction and other side will be leeward direction, okay. So for that, when uh, our coefficient is positive, then it's windward direction, so I'm just clicking here, replace the existing load okay replace the existing lot so I'm just clicking here apply so just see here this is the lot uh, according to windward okay now so when the window will come in x direction uh, as uh, i mean um, in the direction of positive x then we have provided our data now we'll just select that option t select so we have selected all of our that slab again we'll just select leeward now when window window will come from the opposite x direction then that side would be the leeward of that uh, opposite direction so wind will come from that direction and it will be the windward and it will be the leeward so here it will be 0 0.5 and must it will be minus okay it will be minus 0 0.5 remember that it will be minus 0 0.5 when we are giving here the leeward from opposite x direction okay so uh, when the value of the first of all we have used the uh, wind direction as per according to I mean according to x direction right then that, that's that that's time uh, that is positive and now the opposite that means it's negative so I'll just simply click apply so just see here we have defined that okay we have just see here it's uh, 0 0.05 L right so when it's done now we'll go that side so here we'll select carefully we'll select carefully all slab just carefully do not select any frame okay so here it is sorry So it is done now. Here, just here, that is a leeward. So it will be positive 0 0.5 because of positive x direction. Okay. So first of all, we have uh, provided 0 0.8 windward. Now that will be 0 0.5 leeward. Right. Then apply. Then uh, pre-select. After that, it will be 0 0.8 but minus. 0.8 minus and it will be windward from that direction okay then click apply so okay so we have successfully defined our wind load okay we have successfully defined our wind load here right now when we have defined our wind load here after that we have done that and now I'll just go here show undeformed shape and from here I'll go 3 and we'll define the simple dead load and live load here right so here I'll just come here before that I'll just come here select then click here select then from here uh, object type then from here wall okay it's all our floor floor then select just see here all of the floor have selected then close after that I'll just come here assign mm -hmm. then shell load then uniformly uh, here uniformly 
load and from here first of all dead load uh, yes that is dead load it's okay so we can uh, give here the dead load as per in the direction of gravity okay and uh, what will give here actually, actually you have to give that as per design requirement design code requirement just I am giving a random data to show you just 40 okay 40 pounds per feet then apply and the live load I'm just giving here 60 60 and before that you have to select pre-select then uh, it's okay then apply then okay so we have done everything right we have done everything we have uh, draw grid line we have draw our model uh, we have uh, different wind load earthquake load and also uh, we have assigned uh, dead load and live load so you know next lecture we'll just go for analysis and design so uh, I think you'll stay with us and you will learn something better so thank you thank you very much yes, well. stay connected till next video and if you think that that's helpful for you then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first tata -ta.